Hello and welcome to the Brush Creator series for Rebel 7. Now, if you're here, you probably want to create your own brushes and have found that it's a little complex. In any place where you're trying to replicate reality, there is a lot of complexity. So I want to start with a short little illustration. One of the best things on the planet is fresh, hot, homemade bread that's made well. There's a deeper satisfaction to eating some bread that you spent some time creating. And in the same way, creating a brush of your own can have extra meaning. It can impart some deeper emotion and significance to the work that you're creating with that brush that you created by yourself. Rebel 7 Pro is incredibly realistic and allows you to create artwork at a level that's never been possible before. With that said, when replicating reality, there's a lot of different details. And in real life, you may have 50 to 100 different tools to create one piece of art. And so here in the software, there's a bunch of different levels, a bunch of different settings, and a bunch of different ways you can make one tool, your stylus, and the screen emulate that entire art studio. So as we go through, be patient with yourself. Realize that there's a lot to learn, but learning how to do it can be deeply rewarding. To start this series off, I'm going to give you some tips that will help you create brushes easier and with more success. So let's go ahead and jump right into those. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is how to save your brushes while you're making changes. All right, so here you'll notice I have a bunch of different brushes, all with almost the same name. And so what I will do is I'll start with a brush that I like. And usually I would suggest picking one from the defaults. Let's say we like this wood two brush increase the size and we like it but we want to make this personal so here's what we're going to do is we're going to start by choosing open panel menu copy brush preset to favorites now let's adjust it in our favorites notice that it is appended here into the selected folder i have in favorites if you don't have a selected folder you can create one by adding a group and now let's select the brush that we just imported over. And now let's start from here to make changes. Now, when you're adjusting a brush, it's good to start from a middle ground. You don't want the brush to be maxed out in size or opacity and then adjust the opacity settings inside of the brush creator. This creates inconsistent, hard to understand results. So we want to put these somewhere in the middle. So over here, in the properties panel for the brushes. You can see we have size, opacity, water. We have these different brush modes, paint, paint and mix, paint and blend, blend and erase. These four to the left have their own settings. They respond very differently. So understanding how those work is very important. What I'm going to recommend is that here, size, we start at 50%. This gives us an opportunity to go up and down using the settings in the brush creator. All right, so here we can work with this with an understanding that we can increase the size and decrease the size, but we want to start right here. Now, if this starting size right here is too small, in the next video, we're going to adjust that in the brush creator and not in this properties panel. The brush properties panel, we want to keep this somewhere in the middle, again, to reiterate that. Now these settings, size and opacity and water, these are all saved with the brush, which we'll talk about more in the next video. Right here, save volumes and paint modes. This is very important if you want these modes right here to be saved, as well as the size, opacity, water, pressure if you don't have a stylus, but you're using a mouse and length if you want that brush stroke to end on its own, then you'll want to set this to say volumes in paint modes. And that will include all of this information right here, not just the top part. We're going to hide length and we're going to hide pressure and work just with these ones right here. Uh, when we switch to different tools like oils and acrylics, these options will change from tool to tool. So a quick overview here on these modes, paint keyboard shortcut one is not going to include any color blending. It's just going to draw immediately. 
paint and mix. This is going to start off with painting. If you reduce the pressure and you come back, it'll have a little bit of a smudging, a little bit of a blending aspect to it. Paint and blend, and again, these four can be adjusted individually. Paint and blend is going to start with some blending. And then with a heavier push, it will work itself into painting. Again, releasing pressure. You can go back to blending. Blend is going to only blend. It's not going to add paint of its own. You can push paint around with this and erase. It's going to do exactly what you expect. Just erase with light pressure. This can erase impasto. This can erase the textured, higher textured spots on the canvas if your settings are set up to do that for that brush. All right, that's it for this quick introduction video. In the next video, I'm gonna be going over some of the frequently asked questions for brush creation. Some of the things like, how do I make my line stabilized or smoother, less wobbly? How do I make the brush come out pointy right here and not fat and flat? How do I add impasto? How do I adjust opacity? How do I make the brush more grungy? So we're gonna go over some of those frequently asked questions regarding brush creation in the very next video for those who want to jump in and start tinkering as they watch the rest of the series. I'm glad you're here and I think that you'll find great satisfaction in creating your very own brush that expresses you in a deeper and more meaningful way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.